them, Lord, thine own forevermore. Sweet heart of Jesus, we In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. I offer this Mass for the soul of Anne-Marie Campbell, whose month's mind occurs at this time. We keep in our prayers her soul, of course, and her family. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Chris eleison. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood. Grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this, I am going to take the sons of Israel from the nations where they have gone. I shall gather them together from everywhere and bring them home to their own soil. I shall make them into one nation in my own land and on the mountains of Israel. And one king is to be king of them all. They will no longer form two nations, nor be two separate kingdoms. They will no longer defile themselves with their idols and their filthy practices and all their sins. I shall rescue them from all the betrayals they have been guilty of. I shall cleanse them. They shall be my people and I will be their God. My servant David will reign over them, one shepherd for all. They will follow my observances, respect my laws, and practice them. They will live in the land that I gave my servant Jacob, the land in which your ancestors lived. They will live in it, they, their children, their children's children forever. David, my servant, is to be their prince forever. I shall make a covenant of peace with them, an eternal covenant with them. I shall resettle them and increase them. 
I shall settle my sanctuary among them forever. I shall make my home above them. I will be their God. They shall be my people. And the nations will learn that I am the Lord, the sanctifier of Israel, when my sanctuary is with them forever. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far-off coasts. Say, he who scattered Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord. Then the young girls will rejoice and will dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. Please stand to greet the gospel. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son. Everyone who believes in him has eternal life. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did believed in him, but some of them went to tell the Pharisees what he had done. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting. Here is the man working all these signs, they said. And what action are we taking? If we let him go on in this way, everybody will believe in him. And the Romans will come and destroy the holy place and our nation. One of them, Caiaphas, the high priest that year, said, You don't seem to have grasped the situation at all. You feel to see that it is better for one man to die for the people than the whole nation to be destroyed. He did not speak in his own person. It was as high priest that that he made this prophecy that Jesus was to die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but to gather together in unity the scattered children of God. From that day, they were determined to kill him, So Jesus no longer went about openly among the Jews, but he left the district for a town called Ephraim in the country bordering on the desert, and he stayed there with his disciples. The Jewish Passover drew near, and many of the country people who had gone up to Jerusalem to purify themselves looked out for Jesus saying to one another as they stood about in the temple, What do you think? Will he come to the festival or not? The Gospel of the Lord. Grace to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Everything about this reading is is leading us to... uh, Our celebration tomorrow, the celebration of Palm Sunday, when we will greet Jesus with palms, uh, an imitation of what the Jews did uh, on the day he he did enter into Jerusalem. It's interesting, I'm I'm reminded in in this particular gospel reading, right before it uh, is a reading often used at funerals. Uh, It is the raising of Lazarus. Uh, so when we hear in, at the beginning of the gospel, many of the Jews who came to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did, 
believed in him. That thing that Jesus did was the raising of Lazarus. And it's interesting because there is a, a connection, there is a kind of a metaphor. Jesus, he raises Lazarus, and it's the very thing we read that pushes the Pharisees over the edge, that um, pushes them over the edge to decide that, yes, we will kill him. He, you know, he can't go on like this. It was too great of a sign. And the metaphor, I suppose, is that in raising Lazarus, uh, in raising his friend, in saving his friend, he gives up his own life. And that is what we will celebrate tomorrow. Jesus, who enters willingly, who will be betrayed, who will give up his life for us, for, for his friends. So let us listen out for those readings. Let us uh, await uh, those moments that we will relive with uh, the anticipation that, uh, that the Jews in Jerusalem looked forward to. What do you think? Will he come to the festival or not? Let us await our Savior who suffers the passion for us, for me, for his friend. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. As, and as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, 
God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ was handed over to gather into one the scattered children of God.
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Have mercy, Lord, on your church as she brings you her supplications and be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. As I kneel before.